so this is my windmill slash water mill just finish it uh, this is the water mill part um, see it turning up the water there uh, the reason for this is to irrigate the water without any electricity um, so the water the water mill is driven by the bicycle spoke, the bicycle chain, sorry, the bicycle chain goes straight up the shaft, the, uh, the pole, straight up there to where the windmill is. So that is the windmill, the windmill is made from another uh, bicycle wheel frame, and as you can see as a mountain bike ratchet on it. And, um, well, see it spin very freely. It's like this wind will force it to uh, well spin. So it's about it there. I'm gonna back to the water mill. So the faster the water mill goes the more air enter the water this is just a backup for in case not in case but when electricity goes it took me two days to make uh, didn't really cost much less than a 200 TT so you can see I'm uh, trying to find distance there, distance to show you how tall it is. The, uh, the height is about uh, okay, I get the full height as you can see you know, right, from wheel to wheel there. Okay, so it's about 20 feet in height. Uh, that is from water to windmill. So the main reason I'm just making this is to irrigate the water so the fish wouldn't die. They wouldn't die when, hopefully they wouldn't die. They shouldn't die when electricity goes. So, that is a 